Alrighty, so this is going to be a 2 through 7 relay. Sub 8 on camera, finally. I uh, I had a couple sub 8s earlier that uh, I was pretty happy with, but I realized I was not recording, just the classic error. So I, I ended up having to do a whole bunch of extras. I kept getting 8s, like low 8s, and uh, just could not seem to clutch out a sub uh, sub eight once again on actually on camera but here we are um i was pretty happy with the uh five six and seven splits the the two three and four were pretty bad honestly uh all of them were a little bit slower my global average uh, three by three especially it was like a 15 it's just terrible but those first three don't really matter that much in the two through seven relay as long as it's not a complete disaster uh you just make up all the time in the second half. And uh, yes, uh, 5x5, five five, 109 single, I want to say, which is actually really good for me at this point. I have not been practicing any 5x5, five five, so that was like a decent split. 6x6 uh, six six I've been really getting into lately, and I've uh, been improving quite a bit. So I got a 204 single, on or 204 on that split, which honestly, like that's way better than... than uh, than my previous uh, two through seven relay, which I posted like six years ago, where I got like a, a two of four or a two twenty four split. So like big improvement there. But I think even like uh, two of four could be improved quite a bit. Uh, I think it's definitely reasonable for me to get a sub two single, even in a relay like this. And then the the seven by seven was like a three twenty or something, which is just kind of like middle of the road. Not really good. Not really bad. Just kind of whatever enough, anyways, to get the. Uh, the sub eight, so I was pretty happy about that. But anyways, yeah, I haven't uh I haven't uploaded a video in two years. Said I was gonna solve the Minx of Madness as my next video, and it just never really like materialized. The reason is I tried to solve the puzzle and I just kinda like completely burnt out. It was uh it was too much. Well what happened was I wasn't pacing myself. I Decided that I was going to apply all the stickers for the puzzle in one sitting. Because I wanted to have that experience of like a crazy grind of just like doing it all in once, you know, for the challenge to see if I could. And that was like a 20 something hour process of just stickering. So it was just completely ridiculous. And then after that, like the next day, I filmed the video and edited it, which I pretty much worked on that for another like 24 hours straight basically it was it was kind of ridiculous uh i was in this ridiculous rush for no reason and then the next day after that was when i tried to solve the minx of madness and uh that was just totally not practical at all uh i i made it like 10 hours in and didn't get a single side finished I was only like 75% done with one side. And I pretty much just kind of burnt out and gave up after that. Uh, I wasn't planning on taking so long to uh, get back to it. But yeah, I just needed a break. I pushed myself way too hard on that whole project. And uh, and then in the, in the intermediate years since then, um, my art career pretty much took off. So... I've been like completely focused on that and that's really been like it's it's pretty tough to juggle like different huge projects that are in like totally different genres I found cuz like making these giant puzzles and and solving these giant puzzles are like you know you're committing to hundreds of hours it's like an all out grind and I like to just totally obsess over it and just um just do that one thing single mindedly all day every day until it's done uh I'm pretty bad at like multitasking or uh, doing things in like a reasonable uh, like moderation, like, go, you know, slow and steady. So, yeah, like with uh, with me taking on much bigger art projects, like if I'm working on a comic or something and it's like hundreds of hours going to be spent on that. And uh, that's what I'm obsessing over. Then there's not really like much time for making puzzles. But. um. Still really good though that like I'm I'm pretty happy the the art career has been going well, and in my last video, my last two through seven relay from like six years ago, I was uh, 
talking about how I wanted to pursue art as a career. And I was still like very, very early into that process and like way off from being a professional. So it was really cool that um, it, now like I've, I've achieved that. So I'm, I'm almost thinking like I should uh, talk about my future goals. Like, what do I want to do now? And then have that as like this little time capsule here in this video that I could maybe go back to years later and see if it comes true. Um, and pretty much right now I'm, I'm wanting to pursue like, uh, making animations, starting with like animated shorts and eventually, uh, eventually I want to do feature length animations, which, uh, you know, that's going beyond just like an individual project and, uh, having to have like a studio and like being a director and stuff. So that seems like an impossible far off goal right now. Um, but I'd like to, you know, that's what I'm pursuing. I eventually want to do uh, really big art projects. But we'll see. Uh, still probably a few years of uh, grinding away, but I've been practicing really hard and uh, slowly developing the skills needed to do it. Recently, I've been, like, getting into 3D, like, rigging up characters, like, making character models from scratch and learning how to animate them in Blender and stuff like that, so... That's like a really steep learning curve, and I've only been doing it for about a year or so. So I'm like making pretty steady progress on that. Eventually, I'd like to. Uh, well, what I'm, what my basic approach is like, if you're going to be directing a feature length film, I feel like you need to be kind of the jack of all trades. Uh, you need to know at least something about writing. So I've been like practicing writing, you know, learning a bunch of like writing theory and stuff. If it's animation, it's a pretty good idea that you, you don't need to be the best at drawing, but you need to be pretty good at it. You need to know animation, 3d animation, 2d animation, uh, working on your visual storytelling and your pacing and your editing and color and all that. So yeah, that's what I'm currently working on. Uh, but, the whole point of this video and why I'm making it is uh, to announce that I am going to be getting back on the Minx of Madness Solve and Grind and uh, starting from scratch, rescrambling it. And I'm this time uh, I'm feeling fresh. I'm not uh, not burnt out. And I'm going to be trying to uh, live stream the whole process, solve the whole thing live here on this channel. Uh, you can see here. This is like a kind of a preview of the live streaming process, like the kind of uh, camera I have. But uh, anyways, yeah. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for that.